What's up guys, Nerdy Newbie, and welcome back to another unboxing video! In this video, we're going to be unboxing the 2017 December World of Wizardry Pins box. This is from Geek Gear, and this is their Harry Potter slash Fantastic Beast themed box that gives us pins. If you're interested in getting this box, I will go to put all the pricing details in the description below for you. Once you pull the tab, and you open up the box, this is what you're going to see. Ooh, fancy. All right, here we go. The first pin we got is a Professor McGonagall. These pins have a very South Parky look, and I don't know if I'm a fan of it yet. Sometimes I'm a fan of it, but sometimes I'm not. When they try to do these really, like, realistic characters, it just kind of throws me off a little bit. We got the silver edition, which is like the middle version. I don't know what if there's actually different rarities to these or not, but they have the different varieties. There's that. Then we got a pin from Fantastic Beasts. I don't know what this thing is called. I forgot. But there you go. This one's nice. I like the colors on this one a lot. And which version do we get? We got the silver one as well on this one. You can tell by the, the edges. They're silver. There's the back of that. And this month, wow, they gave us two XL pins. That's so interesting. Wow. So next we have a Hagrid and Fangs pin. And this is an XL pin. This one's really, really big. If you can see compared to the normal pins that we get. Because I want to say we've received a regular size Hagrid pin. We got the regular version in this. It's just black on the outline. But this pin is huge. It's really big. I wonder how many backings this pin has. It must have a lot. Two. That's not that many. So there's Hagrid and Fangs. And then we got Fred and George Weasley. Another XL pin. So they gave us two XL pins this month. And what did we get? We got the Silver, silver Edition 1 of George and Fred. So there you go, there's the back of that. All right, so let's see how this box did. This box cost $25 a month. I believe this one's gonna have the same. Here's the booklet. Um, somebody who had this picture won. You can win if you tag them in your picture. And let's do this. So for the two smaller pins, I'm gonna go ahead and give those $6 each. For the two Excel pins, I think you can easily give these anywhere from eight to $10. I would say, I don't remember how much I gave the XL pin from the regular Geek Gear pins box. Um, I feel like you could give these $9 each. They're really big, you guys. I, I don't know if you can tell how big these are compared to what we normally get, but they're really big. So let's do nine, which means that we got $30 worth of value. We pay $25 a month for this box, so we got $5 extra value. For a $25 box, we're looking for about like six or seven dollars extra value, but for specifically for this pins box, I'm actually happy with the five dollar extra value because I've been saying that one of the things that I think they need to do is give us extra value where it's basically like we get one extra pin. Because they gave us two XL pins, I think it made it worth it, but in the past they've given us four regular size pins and then when we get that it's like basically just hitting its value so it's not as worth it. But I would say that if this box either does two regular pins and two XL pins or if they give us five regular pins, then this box would be worth the price point. It has been lacking a little bit lately, but it just depends on if you like getting all these cool pins. I am a Bigger fan of the regular Geek Gear pins box. I don't mind this box, but I just feel like they're running out of ideas, and so they're giving us some duplicates. And you know, you can only do so many Harry pins and so many Snape pins and all that stuff. So we'll see how this box does. But if I had to rate this box, I would actually give this box a 4.5 out of 5 noobs this month. I think it had good value, and I like that we got two XL pins, and they're unique and different. My favorite pin, actually, though, is this thing, only because I really like the colors. I really enjoy the colors of this pin, so I'm a fan of that. But yeah, it's not bad this month. I wish the regular Geeker pins box had come with two XL pins. I think that would have been cool. All right, guys, that's all I've read in this video. It's a very short video, I apologize, but thank you so much for watching. If you liked this video, feel free to click the like button below. If you wanna see more unboxing videos, go and check out my channel. I have a whole bunch on there, and you should subscribe. Let me know in the comment section below what you guys thought about this box. I know a lot of you guys haven't been a huge fan of it. I really think you just have to really like pins in order to be a fan of this, and you kinda of have to like pins that kinda of look like South Park a little bit, because a lot of these pins look like South Park, 
characters. So it just depends on if that's your style or not. If not, then I don't know. It just depends. Their geekier one, though, had some really cool ones this month that weren't so South Park-esque. Um, but let me know what you guys thought down below. And remember, if you subscribe to my channel and your subscriptions aren't blocked or set to private, you'll make it onto my thank you to subscribers page, which is coming up shortly. Before we go, we must do the video shout out. Today's video shout out goes to go truck yourself. <laughs> Go truck yourself. Thank you so much for watching, commenting, and supporting my channel. I appreciate all of your support. Thank you for commenting that you like my videos. I, I really do appreciate that. So, <laughs> go truck yourself. You get the video shout out. Shout out to you. Go truck yourself. Shout out to you. I just love saying that, you guys. I'm so sorry. All right, guys. I hope you have a great day, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.